a lot of people correct me if I'm wrong, but from what I understand, you was the one who discovered Kanye. I didn't discover Kanye. No, um, I was the one to put him pretty much in the game. But I didn't discover he was brought to me. But he wanted to meet me. Okay. He sought me out, mm -hmm. and he just happened to know a mutual friend by the name of DeAndre Maiden. We called him Free. He okay. went to Howard with us, and Free was in with uh, those Chicago guys. So when he found out, he reached out to me and said, "There's this guy producer that wants you to meet him, wants to meet you." But then also, Free thought it would be nice if I took him under my wing okay. and helped him get on. Mm -hmm. So once I met him and heard him beats, heard his beats, I realized like, wow, he's from the D Dot School. He had the shakers and the triangles and the sh the party vibe, the party vibe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And he his, he had he was a sample producer, but right. he had a different style. It was it was. You know the Al Green, the the funk, like the it was mm -hmm. Midwestern type of bounce, and he was a rapper. He wanted to rap really bad, so he would also send beats with, like me. Right, I was and, about to say this is perfect. And Pharrell mm -hmm. he got choruses and verses, mm -hmm. so I'm like, man, this dude is good. So um, we we solidified a relationship, and I ended up managing him from 1998 to 2000. So what's crazy is what broke my heart was, you know, Kanye became who he became, but <clears throat> he lost something for a minute because when you saw his MTV. Behind the scenes, he went from Chicago and no ID right to Rockefeller. You know what I'm saying? Well, what went wrong? Well, what went wrong was I'm a I'm a, a strong personality, and I was hot at the time, so he didn't want to be up under me, mm -hmm. which I understood. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to been up under somebody hot either. The narrative he created was what really bothered me. Which was? Which was as if he was this ghost producing term that came up ghost producing, which I didn't understand. Um, so, um, but yes, I didn't discover. Is that, so you're I, saying is that's what he said? That's what he said. That's the narrative he put out there after, on after you. he left on me as if he had did the Benjamins and hypnotized and all this other stuff as if, you know what I'm saying? But he wasn't even around. But the point is I didn't discover him, but I put him in the game. So all the songs he was doing with Dead Prez and, and Jermaine Dupri and all them songs prior to Rockefeller was through Crazy Cat Management. And then he also produced five songs on the Mad Rapper album, the one with Eminem and the one with Raekwon. Mm. So that put him on the map too because now he got classic records with classic artists mm -hmm. before he even got to Jay-Z and all that. And Young Guru used to work for me simultaneously. Okay. So Young Guru and Kanye both worked for me prior to them going to Rockefeller. What's the relationship like now? With who, Kanye? Mm -hmm. When I see him, it's love, but I rarely see him and we never talk. So it's you pretty much... Mm. I'm dead, you know what I mean? You did a lot for him, though, right? I would say, yeah. But I, I think, don't. like, you should at least be North's godfather or somebody. Like, <laughs> nah. <you know>? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> now no? Cypher Queen. Now no? Cypher, yeah, yeah, nah. Now, I mean, you know, it's a business. It's not, you know, we didn't get into to become blood cousins. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I like, we didn't, we didn't pick prick each other's fingers and, <laughs> you know, it's, it's all good. I ain't got no animosity, neither does he, you know?